Okay, it's official. I have the pimpest car from 1886 you've ever seen. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, and welcome back to GTA 5. Today, we are looking at some more classic cars, because if you remember the previous video, we checked this baby out, the Ford Model T. And then after that, some more cars suddenly appeared, so I had to make sure to do videos on them, because they are amazing. So before we start with the video, I just want to say guys, thank you so much we have finally hit 7,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool considering we've been going since like, what, uh, August, September time? We've really not been doing this for very long at all, so thank you guys very much for subscribing. It means so much to me. Uh, we've got a couple of comments here from the previous video. If you want your comments to be featured in the next video or the video after or whenever, because sometimes I don't always read these out, depending. Uh, if you want your comment read out, then what are you doing? Um... I think he wanted to land here. <laughs> He's a sort of hovering. What's he doing? Okay, now I've done that, and I'm just hoping that he's not going to land on the cars. That would do nicely. Okay, where were we? Right, I was reading out comments from the previous video. That's what I was doing. If you want yours to be featured in the next video, just leave a comment in the comment section below. This comment is from Chip NFS. Uh, he just wants to know, do I like all Japanese cars? In the previous video, I, I, in the comments as well, I said that I like all Japanese cars. Uh, he says the Sangyong Radius, which is actually a, a Korean car, South Korean car. Nissan Leaf, Prius. Um, have you ever looked, have you ever seen a slammed Prius? They look actually pretty cool, to be quite honest. Uh, I wouldn't have them myself, but do, do you know what? If I'm going to say all Japanese cars, then I'm going to say yes, they're cool, but actually... To be quite honest, um, when you think about it, the Prius is not cool. Because it's meant to be an economical car that's meant to be like, save the environment. But like all the parts from it like get made from different parts of the world and shipped over. And the amount of pollution it takes to make one Prius is, I think it's like more than what a Citroen 2CV would make in 30 years or something crazy like that. I don't know how it works. So in that case, it's not cool. But other than that, uh, yeah, they're fine. You know, some people like them, some people don't. He also wants to know, what is my favourite supercar? Uh, probably a McLaren P1 or something else that's a McLaren uh, 675LT, something like that. I really love McLaren cars. I uh, also wouldn't mind, um, I don't know, some Porsches, stuff like that. I'm not really fussed, I like everything. I, d I don't really have favourites, I just like all things. Um, so, yeah, there we go. And the other comment is from Godzilla Man 1290 he says, hey Lex, out of all the cars in GTA 5, what is your favourite? That's actually a good question. I, uh, I'm going to say the T1, maybe, just because I really like the McLaren P1. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 that's, again, I like most of the cars in GTA 5, but I'd say, yeah, that is a, a pretty cool car. Actually, I, I know. I know one. If we go to my vehicles here, I do actually have one set in my save vehicles. It's the Vigero. I just love how this car looks. It's just such a cool car. Look at that. This is, I don't know. I just really like this car. So, yeah, maybe I'd say this or the T1. I guess you probably weren't expecting that sort of answer, but there you go. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, so today, what are we doing? We're checking out these cars. So, we've already checked out the Ford Model T, so we can ignore that one. Shoot it, whatever. Let's move on to the Ford Model A pickup. Look at this baby. Let's just, hang on, if we just get in for a second, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up all the doors and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so with it all down, oh, that one actually folds inwards like that. That's the back open on the pickup truck, and there you can see inside. That's actually pretty simple, but of course, these were really simply made cars. Oh, I just love all the details and stuff in these things. It's so amazing. By the way, if you're wondering about, like, weird lighting and stuff, it's because we're standing right on top of the maze. Is this the maze tower? This is the maze tower. So that's why some of the things like the blues and stuff in the paint look weird. It's because it's reflecting the sky because we're up in the air. It's not really, um, it's not reflecting things properly. So, yeah, that's that one. That is the Ford Model A pickup truck. It looks absolutely amazing. Check that out. Pretty simple. I think it'll be amazing. Oh, we can actually see into the engine. Oh, that is awesome. That's pretty cool. What would be amazing if we could take these into Benny's and turn them into uh, hot rods? How cool would that be? That would just be amazing. But certainly we can't do that, but that would be really cool. 
Uh, as actually I noticed, I did actually mention the Model A in the previous video for the Model T, and then the Model A got made, so uh, I sure hope there's no LA Noir cars coming into this game. Oh no, that'd be bad. Really bad. Okay, moving on to this one. This is the Daimler 1886. I'm going to say that. It's actually, I think it's 1886. This is the 1886 Daimler. The first four-wheeled car, so I'm told. Don't really. I like my cars, but I don't really know much about the early history of cars, so I don't know. But this is just an incredible thing because it just looks so much like not a car. And having this in GTA 5 is just amazing. So there's two versions. There's one with wood paneling like this one and then there's this one over here which is painted this one okay this one replaces the bison which i think is a van this one replaces the bison 2 i assume another type of van this one replaces the bf injection of all things and this one replaces the sentinel which is like a normal saloon car uh, some of the handling has been changed for these but from what i can tell not really much has been changed really because uh, these do handle a bit strange so let's try actually do something with this car. Let's see what it's like just to drive on this top bit. Okay, okay, the handling is actually pretty terrible. There's a lot of wheel spin going on, and this is way quicker than it should be. Have I actually got... I don't know, have I got the thing on... No, I haven't. I haven't got extra power on, so this is all just standard speed. Okay, this is actually pretty quick. I'm going to take this down a ramp and see what happens. So here we go. What is that down there? I can see it down there in the bottom. Oh, okay. Okay, on the map, I can see some yellow dot. Whoa! Okay. So that happened. Apparently, wood can burst. Oh my god. What the hell is that? that? Is that the bottom side of the car? What the hell is that? That's all the... Oh, okay. For some reason, all the mechanical parts are all sort of floating off and they sort of... That's... How strange. How strange. Right, okay, let's try another one. Okay, here we are in the wooden version this time, and I'm going to go and attempt this one here. Hopefully, this time isn't going to go too bad. Did you see the rear wheels then? When we jump, watch what happens to the rear wheels. That goes really weird. Oh, wow. You can really see the camber change on these wheels because they're just so massive. Here we go. Oh, we should try and aim for that hole. That would be so... <laughs> that was actually not bad. And it still drives around on the road, although kind of actually really terribly. The handling on this is just pure awful. So whilst I'm here, I'm going to take it to Benny's just because I want to see what different colours and stuff we could do. And also I want to change the wheels because I think it's going to look stupid. Okay, so lights is... Can we have neon lights? Uh, oh, we can actually. You can see it's all lighting up all the... Oh, okay. Okay, right, this is going to be pretty cool. We're going to have a turbo on it because reasons. What colours can we have here? Oh, we can change all that. So actually, oh, it's it's toning the wood. Oh, that's cool. So it's not just changing colour, it's changing colour of the wood. So we can have it in a dark... Oh, we can have it in like a mahogany colour. Oh, that, that is cool. So secondary colour changes what exactly? Nothing. That's just there for reasons I don't know. Okay, wheels... What can we do? Nothing. Wheels cannot be changed in this car, it would seem. No, no, no. They're all dead. Okay, so we can't change wheels, but we have just made a mahogany version with a turbo. Okay, so now I have pretty much the coolest car from 1886. I think we should go back up the ramps again and have another go, especially now at night, now that we're glowing. This looks so ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, right, let's go. Okay, here we are. Now we're going to go down the ramp. Oh, slowly does it. And go! This is looking pretty cool. I'm loving this. Here we go. We're going max speed right now. And there we go. Glowing away in the sky. Woo! Oh, I was hoping it was going to explode. That's amazing. Right, let's move on to the Ford Model A then. Okay, so before we do anything, let's take it to West Coast Customs and see what we can change. By the way, there was a really interesting parked car outside. Check that out. That is some really weird colouring. Okay, let's go in and see what we can do. Right, here we are. So we could do armour, of course. Obviously, when we went to Benny's, we couldn't do most of it. Let's see what we can do. Front bumpers. Um, okay. <laughs> 
Right, so they're actually made for another car, but you can kind of get away. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. It looks dumb. It's not supposed to be there. It's floating, but sod it. It looks stupid, so we're going to do it. Okay, rear bumpers. Um, no, that's just a, <laughs> it's a diffuser. Or we can have another exhaust. Where's the standard exhaust? That's just... Oh, no, that was the standard. Sorry, I'm being an idiot. Okay. Yeah, that's the diffuser. That's not going to work because it doesn't really fit. That's a shame. Okay. Okay, so exhausts. This is dumb. <laughs> they're just floating there. They're not going to look right. No, they're, they're going to look a bit silly. If they were tucked just a bit further back, that, that, that could... Okay, that definitely doesn't work. Okay, get some musical horns going. That will do. Put some neons, of course. We've got to make these the, just the dumbest thing ever. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, here we go. I'm going to go for a nice orange this time. Okay, so the roll cage obviously doesn't fit as well. Sandy, I don't think... I think that maybe that intercooler is going to be the only thing that sort of kind of fits but doesn't. Right, let's go for a respray. We can go for chrome, which looks badass. Or we can just change the color. Let's go for a nice... Let's go for a nice orange to match the, uh, the neons. Okay, your side skirts aren't going to fit. Spoiler is definitely not going to fit. That's floating way far off. Suspension... Okay, we could slam it a little bit. Transmission. Okay, that's all that. Turbo, of course. Yeah, Wheels. Oh, okay. Right, that's just dumb. That's just dumb. What does the off-road stuff look like? Okay. Um, they're incredibly thin <laughs> wheels. <laughs> it looks stupid. But whatever. Let's make this really, really dumb looking. I'm going to go for some three spokes. And then I'm going to change them to like a pink. Oh, yes. Perfect. And some tires. Oh, dear. Well, well, we'll ignore that one then. Okay, that's that. Done. And pimped. And check it out with these neons. What a pimp. <laughs> okay, I've just thought, why don't I try slam it? Crap, I forgot it did that. Okay, here we go. Slamming it in three, two, one. Oh, that's badass. We've kind of, sort of made a hot rod, although not really, because we've got pink three-spoke wheels and neon lights. But it looks pretty funny, and that's what we want. And the suspension is really just messed up, completely messed up. Look at this! Look at the handling of this thing. It's really weird. It feels really like jerky and sudden. All right, let's take this up to the maze bank and jump off it again. Okay, now I'm going to turn off slam it because otherwise we're definitely not going to be flying anywhere because uh, it sort of messes with all the gravity and stuff. So we'll turn that off and let's go. Here we go. This is the one that we exploded on at the start. And that's, that's full power apparently. That's as much as this car can do. And onto the freeway. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Oh, what a jump. Oh, come on. Get a... No, that's... That was bullshit, Michael. I agree. Well, that happened. I thought that was going to be... I thought that was like a really fast response of a fire engine, but that was actually just a police chase that we happened to land on. Oh, dear. What happened to the other bit of car? Okay, I can't actually see what's happening with them. By the way, I keep noticing I've got this, like, minus money figure that sometimes appears in the top right. I have no idea why that's there. I don't know what mod's doing it, but just randomly, it just sort of stays there. Telling me that I lost fu- What the hell's going on down there? Oh, that's the fire engine. Oh, okay. You just put the fire out. Very nice. What the hell was that? There's something jumping. Oh, God, it's that. There it is. What the hell's going on? What the hell's going on? Um. Right. Whoop. Where's it gone? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Okay, so for some reason, part of that car is really buggy when it explodes. For some reason. I don't know. But there we go, guys. That is it for this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know by rating, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye!